Hello and welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson and one of the best things you can feed your fish are live animals. Now in the aquarium hobby it's really hard to do that but I think I found a unique solution. Baby brine shrimp. Now baby brine shrimp are by no means the most nutritious food you can feed your fish. But they are a live food that your fish get to chase around and your corals will get to eat them. So I've decided I'm going to try to feed my fish baby live brine shrimp. So check out how I'm going to do it. First things first, baby brine shrimp will not be the primary food for the aquarium. It's going to be much more of a supplementary food as baby brine shrimp just do not possess the nutritional factors that mysia shrimp or pellet foods do. But that being said, I think it could be a great supplement so I can reduce the amount of mice I have to feed. The other problem is I'm extremely busy. I have a full-time job. I've got a family. I've got tons of yard work. I've got a rental property. It's a huge amount of work for me to manage life and take care of the tank. And once in a while, I do forget to feed the tank. And this will also help with that issue. So what we're looking at is something I bought six, eight years ago. And this was something I kept in my 29 gallon tank. And it's a baby brine shrimp grow out chamber that fits inside the tank. And basically the way it works is you put the baby brine shrimp eggs in, you have an airline hooked up, and that airline runs the baby brine shrimp hatch out, and they come out this thing here. Now, it worked pretty good. The big issue was that it was held on by a suction cup, and as every reefer knows, suction cups in a reef are just absolute junk. They come off, they just don't work. So I'm gonna modify this to accept a power head fitting. So I can actually strap it directly onto the tank so it can't possibly come off, which will be huge. So now my baby brine shrimp don't blow away. So it's a very simple thing. I'm gonna have to get a few more parts still. Um, the baby brine shrimp eggs you're looking at are six, eight years old. I'm actually gonna try them just to see if they hatch because it'd be interesting to find out how long they're actually viable for. It's been about 24 hours since I put the little brine shrimp feeder in and I've got little brine shrimp hatching out, which I think is pretty cool. So I think today I'll add another spoonful of two or eggs in. I do notice my little blue green chrome is hanging out there just picking brine shrimp off as he sees them. So I think it's working out pretty effectively. I can't show the brine shrimp on camera though because they are really small. But I think as a supplementary food source this could be a pretty neat way to feed things. I think the mandarin's really going to like them and I suspect my corals will too. Feeding the fish live brine shrimp has actually worked out really well for me. The little brine shrimp thing just is bulletproof. It's an air pump with air going through it. Every day I just put in a new dump of eggs and every day more live brine shrimp go out. I'll see my little crummies hanging out there munching on them. They're blowing around the tanks. The corals are assumingly eating them. It's just working out great. It's low nutrients but it's giving the fish something to eat and it's giving the corals something to eat and they're live. So I think it's great. So I hope you like it and thanks for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers and we'll see you on the next one.